He was our number one option. This job was offered to one person. And the reason that I'm standing here today is because I believe in a very, very, very bright future for Tennessee football. The tradition says that it should be. It's our job to get it back to that level. It's been quite some time, but as the 27th head football coach in school history, Josh Heupel says the current stand on Rocky Top is only a minor speed bump. It should also be noted that athletic director Danny White entered this search with no intent to hire his former colleague, but as the search played out, it became clear from UCF to UT. They arrived two weeks apart. Yeah, the more I, I visited with, um, and I say this with the utmost amount of respect, with, with candidates, the, the brand of football uh, that my sense is that our, our fans are looking for, but more importantly, what the student athletes are really craving, what they shared with me, I kind of realized that uh, the best option is the guy that I've been working with for the last three years. There's great comfort in, in coming here and knowing exactly what you're getting out of the leader that you deal with the, the most. There's a clear vision of what he wants for the student athlete experience, which is extremely important, and a clear vision of what he wants as an athletic department as a whole. Uh, it's my job to make sure that we're getting this uh, built to, to, the, to the level where we can go chase championships every year, too. So who is Josh Heupel, other than a difficult name to spell? He played quarterback at Oklahoma, won a national title in 2000, and was Heisman runner-up, yeah, that same year. He coached at Arizona State tight ends for a year before spending eight seasons at Oklahoma as an offensive assistant and later offensive coordinator. He led the Utah State and Missouri offenses from 2015 to 2017 before White hired him away to lead UCF the last three years, where he went 28-8. Seven of those eight losses, one possession losses. Now to the hype surrounding Heupel's offense. You heard White mention it's what the Tennessee players told him they're craving. Heupel runs what's been called a take on the Art Bryles veer and shoot offense. It's an up-tempo, in-your-face offense. His offense at UCF was the only team to average more than 522 yards per game the last three seasons. Top three in passing three straight years. One of four teams to average more than 42 points per game each of the last three seasons, joining Alabama, Clemson, and Oklahoma. Uh, we're going to play with tempo here. We're going to be the aggressor. Uh, we're going to play with our skilled players out in space. We're going to give them an opportunity to, to push the football down the field. At the same time, if you really watch what we do, we're extremely balanced in our approach as far as running pass. We want to be physical. We want to dominate the line of scrimmage. I've been hearing a lot of feedback uh, from our fans about uh, uh, they want offense. I, I don't know how... We could deliver offense more than we just did. Uh, uh, we're we're going to move the ball and score some points around here, and I couldn't be more excited about it. And uh, I'll share with you, I had I got that same sentiment from the group of student athletes I met with, uh, and uh, they were pretty jacked up after our meeting this morning. Now to the reaction. Everyone's talking. That includes some local names. And sports reporter Ben Bobick has that angle covered. Vols fans, and more specifically Vols Twitter, can be a bit testy at times, to say the least. And how could you blame them given the last decade? But a lot of times, they look to former Vols for guidance. And who better locally than former Red Bank and Tennessee star Gerald Riggs Jr., who's been vocal himself on Twitter about it all, even joking at giving him a crack at the job. He also wanted to see the lane train return to Rocky Top after his first season in Oxford with Ole Miss. Kidding aside, he's excited to see some fresh faces in Knoxville. He says it's not so much about the X's and O's, if you will, but just everyone being on the same page moving forward. It's kind of hard to progress when you're stuck, uh, you know, looking at things the same way all the time. Now, you know, the biggest thing for me is not so much really how people look at things and what their philosophy is, but everybody being on the same page. And I think that that's going to be a huge deal. I mean, having that uniform message uh, from top to bottom. Um, and like I said, those guys having you know some, some history with each other and, and, and knowing what to expect and, and how to work together, I think that's a huge deal as well. He said he's been getting chirped by some friends since he suggested Lane Kiffin, and now they've decided to go with Josh Heupel. But Riggs throws his full support behind Heupel, Danny White, and co., and he echoes their message to stay patient and positive into this new era. In the studio, Ben Bobick, Channel 3 Eyewitness Sports. You ready for this one? By the way, thanks, Ben. Meanwhile, recently fired Tennessee head coach Jeremy Pruitt was in the news again today. Reports saying that Pruitt is very close to finalizing a deal on the staff in the NFL 
of the New York Giants. Pruitt and Giants head coach Joe Judge worked together in Alabama under Nick Saban. So there's that. As if all that wasn't enough SEC related news. The conference schedules dropped today. Tennessee will play eight at home, four on the road. Their first three games inside Neyland. The they opened with Bowling Green September 4th. They host Pittsburgh in week two and Tennessee Tech in week three. The Vols open SEC play at Florida week four, September 25th. The Georgia Bulldogs open with a bang. The Dogs get Clemson in Charlotte on September 4th. Home opener UAB September 11th. SEC opener week three, the 18th with South Carolina in Athens. Alabama also opens against the ACC. The Tide plays Miami in Atlanta Saturday, September 4th. Home opener September 11th against Mercer. SEC opener is the 18th at Florida.